Hello everyone, my name is Tania from Multiservices team and in this video, we're going to learn how to register a zip phone in Call Manager Express. To register a zip phone, we need to create the directory number. In order to create the directory number, we need to define two parameters. One, voice register TN. This will help us to define the extension of the phone. Two, voice register pool. This will define the subphone instance and map the DN created to it. Important, before beginning, keep in mind that the command register server must be configured. If you don't know how to enable it, that's pretty easy. We go to Boy Service VoIP and under zip, we apply the command register server. And finally, don't forget to add the maximum number of directory numbers and pool due to the default number is zero. You can configure it under voice register global, adding the command maxdm with the maximum number of directory numbers desired and the command max pool for the pools. Now that we know the parameters required, let us start with the hands-on. First, we verify that we have the register server under zip. And then we verify that we added the maximum DNs and pools under voice register global. Then, we need to be on global configuration mode, create the voice register the end, and add the desired label. In this case, I'm using one. We add the extension or directory number we want to assign to the phone. I will recommend adding the no reg command to prevent the registering of this DN to an external proxy server. I added a name that will be associated with the number. This is used for caller ID display. Finally, we create the pool with the command voice register pool. Here I'm also using one, but you can use whichever you'd like. We need to add an ID to support that degree of authentication. You can use a network address, IP address, or MAC address. I'm using the MAC address. After this, we associate the DN with the zip phone configure on the pool. We add the first number and then the DN tag from the voice register DN previously created. If you have authentication enabled, you need to add the credentials of the phone. In this case, I have authentication enabled, so I'm adding the username and password. Optionally, you can add a DTMF method or codec. And that's it. Now we have the basic configuration to register a zip phone into a CME. To verify that the phone is successfully registered, you can use the command show voice register pool all brief. Just to show you how this looks in Dbox, I enabled the Dbox SSIP messages and here you go. We can see the register coming from the phone, the CME requesting the credentials with the 401, a new register with the credentials, and we have the phone successfully registered. Thanks for watching.